I'm going to try and draw a picture of you. Well, actually, you're the one on the right. You want to look like this guy, but you aren't quite there yet. Fret not. My name is Sutton Hay, and I can help. So, first things first, let's define some terms. I have three definitions, and they're all pretty simple. First, intensity. The technical definition is percentage of one rep max, but you can think of it as the amount of weight you're moving. Second, volume. There are a couple different ways to define volume. Many people say it's the time under tension. I prefer to start by calling it total distance traveled, measured in reps and sets. The third term I need to define is overload. So let's take a closer look to understand this one. Question, how is muscle built anyway? You probably think that you build muscle by working out. You would be wrong. You break down your muscle when you work out, and when you go home, your body builds itself back stronger in the hopes that it will survive the next attack. It's like self-defense. Overload is your ability to make the next attack always harder than the last. Now, with the terms out of the way, let's take a look at some basic programming. You see this graph everywhere, falling volume and rising intensity. This is chock full of information, so for the sake of proper formatting, let's unmerge these graphs to see more of what's going on. The volume graph is a way of telling you that you should start off each training cycle working with high reps, I usually don't like to go past 12 reps, and end your cycle with low reps. Side note. I run these programs for 16 weeks because that's how long one of my college semesters is. Next, intensity versus time shows us that we start off with a low weight and gradually build up to a new, stronger one rep max. Putting the graphs back together, there's one thing I have left to show you. If you were to slice this graph into three vertical slices, you would end up with three phases to a lifting program. The first is hypertrophy. Lots of volume at a low but rising weight to build big muscles. Next is strength. The purpose of a strength block is to teach your body how to use these new muscles you have. The final one is the peaking block. This is where you test your strength, break your records, and feel awesome. And yes, I know there's a lot of stuff I left out of this video. These are all pretty vague terms. If you would like to know more, I put together a simple, free PDF on programming and left a link to it in the description. It also includes a three-day workout plan for anyone who's interested. Thanks for watching, and share this everywhere.